produced the performance of his life. There is a controlled authority about Alvarez in his demeanour, his gait and his walk. Will it matter in a few moments' time? Triple G Promotions proudly present the main event of the evening. Twelve rounds of boxing for the middleweight championship of the world. Sponsored by Tejante, the official beer of boxing. Hennessy, never stop, never settle. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Fred Loya Insurance, put Fred Loya in your corner. Energet, El Rolino Oficial de Vox, the smart way to fly to Mexico. And Marvel Studios, Thor Ragnarok, in theaters everywhere November 3rd. This bout sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony A. Monel III, Executive Director Bob Bennett, the International Boxing Federation, President Daryl Peebles, the International Boxing Organization, President Ed Levine, the World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, and the World Boxing Council, Mauricio Suleiman, President. The three judges at ringside, Adelaide Bird, Dave Moretti, Don Trella, and inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Kenny Bayless. And now, the officials are at ringside, and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. Fight fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to run. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Edison Reynoso. Wearing blue with gold and officially weighing in at 160 pounds. His professional record, 49 victories, including 34 wins by knockout. Only one defeat with one draw. He's been in 15 consecutive world title fights coming into the ring and captured three world championships. Damas y caballeros de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, the two-time light middleweight world champion, the reigning, defending, ring, linear middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner with his head trainer Abel Sanchez, wearing khaki green and officially weighing in at 160 pounds. This Olympic medalist now has a perfect professional record of 37 points. 37 points. He's only 33 points. It's the Hill for Senate, the greatest in middleweight championship history. From Paragon to Kazakhstan, the reigning. Defending, undefeated, IBF, IBO, WBA, WBC, unified, middleweight, champion of the world, Gennady, Gennadyovich, Golovkin, AKA, Triple G. Trucks are good on both sides. 
And we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch them up, Venice, what they Two of boxing's best in a fight for the ages. And we are on. Who will seize the moment? Whose boxing destiny is it to be the very best in middleweight? Here we go. Both on their feet. No one's taken a seat just yet. And the template as we expected. Golovkin marching forward, trying to get behind the jab. And the movement early on from Canelo. Well, Canelo moving round is fine, we expected that, but not to give away too much ground, not to get it back to on the ropes too often. He's got to be clever with his attacks. And when the mountain. Triple G wants to be on the centre ring, he wants to be the aggressor pushing you back. Just missed with her right hand, Golovkin. Shouts of Triple G, pouring across this arena. Look of menace on the face of the Kazakh. And also the Triple G it can be going too many lazy jabs. Everything's got to be fast and solid. And everything is solid with Triple G. But you've got to be got to come back fast because any jab you leave out there, Canelo's going to slip and throw that right hand over the top. Nothing from Alvarez yet. Fancy he's going to explode into counter attacks, but just having a look through the first minute and a half. This is with his own jab, nothing landing yet for either man. And just for a brief moment, Alvarez holding the centre of the ring and standing his ground. Just as a little bit closer, that's good though from Alvarez. Good movement. His little half step to the left, straight back then to the right hand side, then the punches go. Golovkin missing with a few of these. He managed to get a, a right hand that came behind the gloves. And Alvarez gets off his shots. Crowd already into it, but the, the tension. Palpable ringside. Oh, lovely there. Faint with the left hat jab, left up, right hand. Fast hand speed from Alvarez. Ruse and has again a shake of the head from Golovkin, but it was a landing punch, it was a scoring shot. Alvarez is warming up. And look how he's taking the centre of the ring all of a sudden. The confidence he's had. And at the start of this one, I'm sure the boxing world just collectively held its breath. And Golovkin, now this, he, he took the centre of the ring like he wanted to. But the faster feet, the faster hands, the quicker brain of Alvarez was enough. Shook his head there, Golovkin, whether he was unhappy with himself. He missed with quite a bit, and there was uh, control in the defence and the movement of Alvarez. Eddie Reynoso, Chepo, his dad, another advisor for Alvarez in the corner. Turn pro with that team at the age of 15. And here, 12 years later, on the biggest night of his life. Okay. Given the occasion, Barry. Impressed by the way they both controlled themselves throughout the build up the preliminaries and indeed that first round. Yeah, I do, but I, I do feel as well that Golovkin was just not panicked, a little bit surprised, I think, with the fluency of, of some of the punches of, of Alvarez. The speed was always going to be an issue for Golovkin. And you can just sense coming up for the second round, there's a little bit more urgency in springing his step. 
you know, Golovkin, you don't overreach in and, and take a jumping in too soon. He's got to try and make Alves feel his power, even if it's on the arms, the chest, anything. Got to get him feeling that right hand through the target. He is explosive, Alvarez. You don't really publish his uh, on the, the night weights these days, but by and large, if you look through the, the list of his records, he generally, at, at all the weights, even the Mayweather catch, but he generally puts on about a storm in between the, the weigh-in and the big fight itself. Big cheer from the crowd there, but that left uppercut right hand, just a glancing blow with the, the uppercut right hand missing from there Alvarez. Alvarez trying to come forward now. Gonna come back with a left hook there, Golovkin. Alvarez is an absolute barrel of a man. Good jab from him as well just then. Fancy the concentration has to be absolutely spot on for every moment of this contest. Again, the crowd going mad with these punches and only not landing so maybe as they think in the crowd. No, but there's control from Alvarez. He's not being pushed back now. Just got to be careful not to hold his feet too much, too close to the target. Now, Brazil, even if he has had a success, don't again. Hello, Golovkin to get that right hand on. Golovkin can't get going early on. He's missing a lot. The, the jab's not really found its home yet. <laughs> He's landed with a few jabs there, Golovkin, but it's not, not the weight. Like we've seen in the past behind that, that left hand. Well, it, it just broke Lemieux down a couple of years ago in New York, just step by step. Nice little slip and a left hook to the body there again from, from Alvarez. He looks nice and relaxed himself. He's happy to, to stay close enough in range against Golovkin. Counter from Alvarez. Every shot that he lands or nearly lands is getting a cheer. Well, to be honest, it was too predictable there from from Golovkin. And there was a long, jumper. lingering look from Alvarez as he danced back to his corner, pleased with his work. And that look to Golovkin, as if to say, I might just have you, pal. Always a threat though when Golovkin's in the ring, that power. Well, he's looking nice and relaxed, you know, especially, you know, it's surprising that in the pocket, now three-quarter range, he's nice and relaxed. You know, he's just, his vision's there, he's concentrating, he's slipping the shots quite well. And Golovkin just struggling to find the target clean. And maybe the look was to say, perhaps, I'm better than you think, maybe, you weren't expecting this. And this was a combination with the crow went wild, but that right up could, you know, didn't, ha didn't hit the target at all. The left of the body was a good shot. What we should say is by the, there aren't all that many clean landing punches, I think it's fair to say. Well, they know that any mistake they make, they're going to have to pay for it. So they know, they've been a little bit cautious, but it's, it's fantastic start here from Alvarez. Just a flurry from Golovkin, there's a, an intensity about him. It's not a good, solid... Just stay down the middle of the lane. Yeah, like I said. Up, up, right up! Golovkin is, uh, giving respect to Canelo. Is Canelo respecting Golovkin? Yeah, so the key is, I think, you know, the power exchange here. The thing is, uh, Triple G didn't know that the last thing is that well, I think he's out of his reign identity right now. He's used to guys backing away from him. He, he's used to cutting off the ring, hunting his man down. But Canelo has staked out the center of the ring. He's standing his ground. And many times, he's the one who's initiating the exchanges. Yeah, I haven't seen Gennady go to the body at all. He has it, Kevin. He's gone upstairs. 
Throw some jabs, they haven't any combinations together. Canelo go, trying to go to the midsection of Gennady Golovkin here after it's in the third. Right. Every single punch Canelo lands, the crowd's going to go overreacting with it. And that can have an effect on the yeah, official okay. judges. Well, Gennady's sticking to that jab. That's a smart thing, right? He said that he's got very smart. After he's going to Like I said, if he does that for two or three rounds, you know, his distance and range is how you find your distance and range. Oh, Gennady, blocked by Canelo. Again, blocked by Canelo. Blocked the jab. That's what he Canelo coming with the left hand of his own. Strong round for the Mexican fighter. I think Canelo is gaining confidence in this round. He's definitely gaining confidence. And the with the guard there with the left. And, and Golovkin is there to be hit by the uppercut. Slipping <laughs> punches. Canelo back against the rope. Thirty seconds ago, it's been a strong round for Canelo Alvarez. I think Canelo's going to go through it. Left hook, left hook, good left hook. Canelo moving around, bouncing a little bit. Feeling his arm good? Absolutely. He's good. He's doing what he wants to do. Now, he wants to have a good victory. He's going up against the Ross. They can hold him stay in the middle. Yeah, not for long. I think he's more effective in the middle. And if you back away from the luck and you add to his strengths, which is what he's been used to. Three rounds in the books. Middleweight division. The belts are on the line. Right? You're allowing him to work too much. Okay. It's a good jab. A good jab sets everything up. You got to step with it, okay? Because he's pulling away, right? You understand? Yeah. Okay. Good, good jab. And the shots have to be here. Canelo is very effective with that uppercut, that left uppercut, how he lands the shot precisely. Golovkin stands right in front of him, and then there's the left uppercut. No reaction out of him, but he should not get hit with that punch. Okay, calm inside the ring. There's Canelo's mom. She makes the tortillas. Echo de mano takes care of her baby. Lo chequea. The eighth kid in the Alvarez clan. We were wondering to shave that beard. Nah, he's rocking that beard. Keep it going. This is a kid you saw make his UFC debut. He was 18. 18. Against Larry Mosley. In a casino in the desert of Southern California. That's right. Now he's at the desert in Las Vegas, the boxing mecca. This is Canelo Alvarez. Three in the books. Have you had it so far, Ken? I have it so far. 28, 29, 28. Canelo. Canelo won the last round. Um, He's doing very, 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 very good fighting. He looks very effective aggression. He looks like he wants to get control of the fight. He's doing bombs. Um, that's not going to get a reaction out of G, but we'll see what happens as the rounds go up. He's racking up points, though, and I scored the first two rounds for Canelo. Um, I do think the first round could have gone either way. Yeah. So I got a 28-29, of course, with unofficially Canelo Alvarez. There's Canelo's jab. Everyone talked about the Lucky's jab coming into this fight. I wonder what factor Alvarez's jab was going to be in this fight and if he would be able to connect against the Lucky with regularity with his jab. Yeah, the question mark is how effective are those shots that he's landing because I've seen it before with Cotto and the other fights and there wasn't no reaction out of him. Uh, uh, it looked like he's walking the floor, but it's the, the head snapping punches, the eye catching punches, the punches of the judges are going to take note of it. He's racking up points even though he's not keeping significant damage on Canelo. Canelo, this is the wrong place for Canelo. What Jim is going to do is put his chin down. Let's go. He's trying to go to May. This is exactly what Canelo Alvarez did to Chavez Jr. in May. He's asking for it. Why did he not be hesitant here? Now he's got to be very careful. Because Canelo's kind of quick. And he's getting some shots in when the G falls asleep. So what happens is, as you can see, when he attacks, you know, he's a smaller man. And Golovkin knows that. So his speed, he's got to adjust to his speed. He won't get nothing wild and wild. But obviously, he respects Alvarez's power. Otherwise, he would have stayed on top of him. He would let his hands go when Alvarez willingly went to the ropes. Well, they were playing possum. Triple G said no.
Now, or maybe go back and say, okay, you're trying, but you're obviously trying to set me up for a rebound, right? and I'm not going to fall for it. It's a chess match inside there. So that's where it's circle. But you see the confidence from Camilo Alvarez. He's bouncing out the ring, shrugging his shoulders at Triple G. Which nobody in a long time has done that in a ring with him. Wait, look at this guy just shuffled. Bailando. There you go, Canelo the Bailador. I like a fake, and then I want to see him bring him down, okay? Stop him, okay? And he gets up against ropes again. Very, very good. Deep breath. Okay, here we go. Good round. Hay que tener el round más constante, hijo. Más constante en tu ofensiva. Tres, cuatro golpes te sales. Combina uno, dos, te sales y te, si te vas a mover. Si te vas a quedar en el corto del ring, en medio del ring, ahí bien cubiertito, bloqueando y contragolpeando. Y moviendo la cintura y lo pasas, pero no te olvides de tirar tu llave, hijo. Tu llave, tu llave, tu llave. Inclinadito para que no te metas la derecha por acá. ¿Eh? ¿Cómo lo sientes a él? ¡La goma! Right there. Yeah. Eddie más ya, más ya. Stay in the middle of the ring. Keep your guard tight. Move your waist because you want to slip that right. Also, go punches three, four out of the time and then get out of there. Land three, slip and go and put it around for another one. That sounds like sound advice to me. And still Canelo's corner, cool, calm, and collected. Gennady Golovkin's corner, I think, beginning to show some concern. Well, the biggest key is for Gennady right now to be quicker and um, penetrate a little bit better by throwing a hard stick jab. He needs to, to set the tempo to the fight. He's got to change the And right now, Canelo's got to keep his punch right now. And Canelo's is hard to hit. Like I said, he's very hard to hit. And he's against the ropes. I guess a man that you don't go into it. Why don't you, if you don't do that against Triple G, you're not supposed to. Why does Canelo feel like he can, Kevin? Of course, he's trying to destroy the confidence of the night.